In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your RAM on the Gigabyte B550M DS3H motherboard. I'm going to be showing you how to go in, turn on your XMP profile, and hopefully that works for you. If not, I'm going to be showing you how to manually overclock it to get, be able to get that performance that you paid for whenever you bought your RAM. Plus, everybody knows AMD likes faster RAM. While this video came about, if you haven't seen it, there's a video on the channel about how to overclock your RAM on the Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard. I had a comment come in on that video a couple months ago, and here Diego left a comment on that other video. He says, can you do the B550M DS3H, please? I said, it should be about the same as on this motherboard. Thanks for watching in the comment. He says, Dave Thackway, no, it's different. I tried, but thanks for replying. And once I got the system built with this motherboard, which I'll put a card up here for the $600 entry-level budget gaming PC of 2020. Once I got into that BIOS, after I got this build done, he was correct. The overclocking on this RAM is completely different than the B450M chipset. If you haven't seen that other video, here's the specs to make up the system, which, of course, in today's video, you want to really focus on the motherboard and the RAM. The motherboard is the Gigabyte B550M DS3H motherboard. And I am using G-Skill Drip Jaws 5 Series 16 gig, 2 8 gig sticks of DDR4, and it will go up to 3600 MHz. And like I said, you know, I will be showing you how to turn on your XMP profile, and then I'll be showing you how to mainly overclock it if your XMP ain't stable for you. When I get into the manual part of it, now you'll notice that the same settings that I use when I do manual is the same thing as the XMP profile, and there is a few reasons for this. Number one, a lot of times if your XMP profile ain't stable, you can put in the same settings and it will run stable for you. Number two is the XMP profile. That should be the kind of performance you should be really aiming for to get out of your RAM because it is set up by the RAM company and your motherboard company. Number three, if it still ain't stable once you put in them figures manually, it gives you a good starting point. And then you just dial back your timings a little bit or maybe you'll have to turn down your speeds a little bit. But there's one thing to keep in mind when you're overclocking your RAM, and when you do bump up your frequency on your RAM, keep in mind that you will have to loosen up your timings a little bit to make up for that extra speed. There is a little bit of a trade-off when you're overclocking your RAM. Let me show you how to get this done, and I'll be back with my conclusion to the video. All right, all, and to overclock the RAM on this Gigabyte B550M DS3H motherboard, here we are at the desktop. I'm gonna go down, open up the Task Manager, show you what it's running out of. Or what the RAM's running at. Open up the task manager, go to performance right here under your memory. You can see it's running 2133 megahertz. Okay, which that's what it's going to run out of the box. So to get it overclocked, you'll go down to your window, go to your power, go up to restart, tap your delete key, and when it restarts, you're, on, you're greeted with this easy mode. You got the Information is the B550 MDS 3H. We're running BIOS version F2. We're running the Ryzen 3 3100, 16 gigs of RAM. We are running the G Skills 8 gig, 2133 in two different slots. Slot 1A, uh, slot A2 and B2. Now to get the overclock, the easiest way would be to go down here where it says XMP disabled. You enable it, and this here's where it's going to change everything to. It's going to turn your speed up to 3600. It's going to raise your cast legacy and whatnot to 18, 22, 22, 42, and 64, and it's at 1.35 volts. There is another way to do this, so we'll disable that for right now. You hit F2 on your keyboard, we'll go over here to the advanced mode. Right down here, the extreme memory profile, XMP, where it says disable, double click on it, and you hit profile 1 which does the exact same thing. Once you turn on the XMP profile, you have this XMP high frequency support. It's automatically set to auto. We won't put that to three. That way it turns, that way it will run your RAM to max frequencies. Or you could leave it on auto, it's your choice. You hit save and exit. Save and exit. And all right guys, once you hit your save and exit, it says save and reset, save configuration and reset the computer. Now here it shows you what your uh, what you changed. Your XMP memory profile, XMP went from disabled to profile one. And your XMP high frequency support went from auto to level three. I don't know what the real difference is in that 
XMP profile frequency support, but we're going to go with level three because that's higher than the other two. We're going to hit save and let it boot back into Windows. All right, here we are back on the desktop. And again, we're gonna go down here and start Task Manager. Gonna go over to Performance, Memory. And you can see right there, it is it is stable enough to at least, able, uh, to at least boot into Windows. It's running 3600 megahertz. But now what happens if your AM ain't compatible with the XMP profile? And if your AM ain't compatible with the XMP profile, then how do you overclock your AM to get the most out of it? Well, we're gonna go, down, we're gonna go back into the BIOS, go to Windows, Power, Restore it, keep tapping delete. All right, we're back in the BIOS. We'll go to save and exit. We're gonna load optimize default, hit yes. All right, guys, we got the defaults reloaded out of the BIOS. We're gonna go to task manager, go up to performance, go down your memory. You see it's, called, it's set at 2133 megahertz. If your XMP profile ain't working for you, or it ain't running stable for you, go down your windows, your power, go to your reset, restore it, I'm sorry, and keep tapping delete key to get back into your BIOS. All right, there we are back in the BIOS. As you can tell right here by the DRAM status, we're back to, free, uh, back to stock speeds. Go over to advanced mode, or you can hit F2 on the keyboard, whichever way you feel best at. As you can see, it's at 2133 right here. Your memory's running 2133 at 1.22 volts. And the way I like to start mine out, go down here to DRAM voltage, channel A, B. It says auto at 1.2 volts. Double click on the auto, and we'll put in 1.35 volts. I like 13.5. It's kind of mid range, but it's usually pretty good for most for most overclocking. Hit enter, and you'll see it throws up a 0 05 on the end of it, which means a toke. Okay, you got my back up here to system memory multiplier. It says auto 2133. Double click on it, you put in 36. Right there, 36, and hit enter. It puts 36.00 because we know it's what the memory can run at. Okay, then you need to go to the advanced memory settings. Then you go into your memory sub timings. Okay, and here's where it's going to, where you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of your timings to be able to get them speeds up. Um, let's go with what the XMP gun set up. Go on the auto. Go on double click and hit 18. Okay, the next one down. We're going to set to 22 and hit enter. Next one down, we're going to hit 22 and hit enter. All right, on this one here, we're going to double click and hit 22 and hit enter. And then on this last one, we're going to loosen it up to 42 and hit enter. All right. And that should be it. If you go back to your AI tweaker, it should be saying 3600. Your voltage should be set at 1.35 volts. You hit save and exit. Then you hit save and exit up here again. It tells you what you modified, your DRAM voltage, we set to 1.35 volts. Your system memory multiplier went to point, uh, 36, 36 megahertz. We changed the uh, latest, the, these bottom ones we changed from 18 to 22 to 22 to 22 to 42. And you hit yes. And let it reset into Windows. All right, here we are back in Windows. Go down here, uh, go down bottom here, and right click. Go up to Task Manager. Go over to Performance, and then you can see the memory is set back up to 3600 megahertz, where it was setting at 2133. 
Let me get reset up and I'll come up with a conclusion to the video for you guys. And that's the way you get that RAM overclocked on that Gigabyte B550MTS3H motherboard. I'm hoping this video taught you a thing or two and you're able to get the max performance out of that RAM that you bought. But I think it's going to pretty well wrap it up for today's video, guys. Go down and give me a like if you like this kind of content or that dislike button if you don't. There's that comment section below. I'll go through them every weekend on my live stream. Saturday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S. If you really like this kind of content, maybe you'd like to go down and hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on it, where you're notified next time I upload a video or go live here on YouTube. And also, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. I don't care your inbox, but I do put up photos of new products I got coming in. Just kind of give you an idea of what's coming up on the channel. And if there's any information that's needed about my live stream, if I got to change the time, if I got to change the date, or if I got to cancel for any reason, that's where you also get them kind of notifications. But with all that being said, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.